Hello, my name is Keith Grover. I am currently a candidate for the Republican Party for House Seat 61 for the Utah House of Representatives. I thank you for taking the time to become an informed voter and to learn as much as you can about myself and all of the candidates running in this House race and in the other races that are coming on this ballot November 7th. I decided to run for House Seat 61 because I believe I can make a difference. I was encouraged by family members, business leaders, and educators to throw my hat in the ring based on some of my qualifications and past history. I was born in Provo and was the son of a professor at BYU who taught auto mechanics. We moved to a farm in Lakeshore, Utah, which is just the southern end of Utah County, and spent my formative years there growing up on a farm. And for any of you that have grown up on a farm, you understand that the work is long and it's constant and it's always there. I learned a little bit about what it means to pay taxes and to give back to the taxpayer when I was growing up on the farm. When you work for money and you work very hard for that money, I believe that it is not the government's right to take that money from you. I believe the government should be conscientious stewards of all tax money collected. And when there is a revenue of taxes, I believe all efforts should be made based on the will of the people to return that money to the taxpayer. When I was raising pigs on the farm, I discovered that to make a profit, you had to work very, very hard, and you had to watch them and take care of them and make sure that their needs were attended to in order to uh, profit from the sale of the pig later on. I found some of the rules that we had to follow on the farm to be meaningful. However, there were some other rules that were what I call government intervention or overregulation that I did not agree with, and I have carried that same attitude today as a small business owner I've recently owned an ice cream shop, and I've recently sold that ice cream shop. And in running that facility for three years, I became more aware and bothered by the excessive regulation that can sometimes creep into the private business sector. So I'm not supportive of, of regulation that is punitive towards the business owner, small or large, and that inhibits growth. I believe that government is accountable to the people and I do not believe in overregulation from the government. Currently, I am an educator. I work in Alpine School District. I am a, an assistant principal at Orem Junior High School. I've been involved in this occupation for 14 years and have enjoyed it thoroughly. I began teaching third grade and fourth grade in Lehigh and commuted from Provo at that time, and now I'm an I'm assistant principal working with 12, 13, and 14-year-olds and their families as they face the different issues that come across uh, their lives. I believe firmly that education is a foundation of what we are in America. In, the, in public education, we establish the norms that will govern the lives of students for the rest of their lives. And it is the one great opportunity for all students to obtain equal access to education and the educational environment. As an educator, I fa favor local accountability and control in all aspects of the educational system. Decisions regarding education should be made locally and by parents and classroom teachers in their efforts to do what's best for every student. There has been some talk about illegal immigration, and I do support the rule of law and believe in upholding the law of the land. I support reforming the immigration system to ensure that it's legal and safe. Taxpayers should not be covering the state benefits for illegal aliens. We have in a few different transportation issues and some, large, some very significant ones in our South Provo and Orm areas. Constituents have informed me primarily that Geneva Road is their biggest concern. And so all efforts will be made to assure that funding and resources and the continuance of that, impro that improvement project will be maintained as, that can, as this community continues to grow and to experience more traffic needs. I would love the opportunity to speak with you and to invite your questions. You can email me at grover 4 utah 61 at yahoo.com. You can also call me at 801-787-2497. Again, I appreciate the opportunity to present myself to you and the time that you've taken to become an informed voter. This is just a small snapshot, and I can answer more specific questions and any questions you have more in more detail when you, when should you call. 
thank you, and remember to vote Grover November 7th.